solve the system of equations, again we have three variables and three equations. And again I'm going to solve this through elimination. So I'm just going to number these equations to get started. Top one will be one, equation number two and three. So my goal will be to combine equations one and two, eliminate one variable, then combine equations two and three and eliminate that same variable. It looks like the easiest variable to eliminate in this case will be the z. Look at that, because if I subtract these equations, z is going to be gone. If I add equations 2 and 3, z is also going to be gone. So let's do that. So equation 1, 3x minus 2y minus z equals 0. Equation number 2, 2x plus 3y minus z equals 5. Okay. So as I have mentioned, if we subtract these equations, the z's are going to go. So 3x minus 2x is just x, negative 2y minus 3y, negative 5y, and negative c, <coughs> sorry, negative z minus z is 0, and 0 minus 5, negative 5. Great. So I'm going to call this equation equation number 4, and I'll leave it there for now. Now I'm going to combine equations 2 and 3, and also eliminate z. So equation 2 again is 2x plus 3y minus z equals 5. And we have x plus y plus z equals negative 1. Great. Now we can just add them. Because negative z plus z plus z sorry, is 0. And 5 plus negative 1 is just 4. 2x plus x is 3x, and 3y plus y is just 4y. It's just like a plus 0. We don't even really need to write the 0 though. So I can rewrite this equation as 3x plus 4y equals 4. And that's equation number 5. Now I want to combine equations 4 and 5. So I can, so I can eliminate either x or y. So, I'm going to eliminate y just multiplying this equation by 3. So I'm going to get 3x minus 15y, because I need to distribute the 3, equals negative 5 times 3, negative 15. Great. So now I'm going to bring equation number 5 down. Now I can combine them, and I will subtract them. So 3x minus 3x is just 0. Negative 15y minus 4y. Negative 19y. Negative 15 minus 4. Negative 19. Then I can divide both sides by negative 19. And y is just positive 1. Great. Now that we have y, things become really easy. And I can just plug in the y either into equation number 4 or 5. Um, I'll pick equation 5. So let's plug in the 1 over here. So 3x plus 4 times 1 equals 4. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 4. Because 4 times 1 is 4. Now I can subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. And 3x is equal to 0. 4 minus 4, 0. Then we divide both sides by 3. And x equals 0. Then... I can finally plug in x and y into any of these equations to find z. So let's pick equation number 3, because it's nice and easy. So x is 0, plus y, which is 1, plus z is equal to negative 1. I'm running out of room again. So 0 plus 1 is 1, plus z equals negative 1. Subtract 1 from both sides. And z is negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. That's it. We have solved the system. And we can write the solution as x, comma y, comma z. That's it.